Hello and welcome back to the Lewis Phillips Guitar Channel. Now today is a bit of a surprise video, to be honest with you. Motionless and White brought out a teaser a couple of days ago, little snippet of something, and it had everyone wondering what it could be. After a couple of hours, most of the fans realised that it was going to be a Thoughts and Prayers music video. I was still holding out for a brand new song, but you know what? I'll wait patiently. Motionless and White are one of my favourite bands out there. I am well excited for this and it's been a while since I've seen the guys you know I can't remember the last motion lesson one music video I watched to be honest with you we're gonna get straight into it let's go full screen and let's press play warning some scenes have strobing effect that may affect photosensitive views well I've been doing bare tooth the last few days and that's fine okay red carpet out very nice and white Everyone's going for the short back and sides and leaving it long on the top. I totally understand where he's coming from there. Maybe I should bleach blonde my hair as well. Who knows? <laughs> I was about to say, oh, he looks like he's being really religious in here, getting people to bow down and that. And I've just realized the, whole, the song is called Thoughts and Prayers. Of course he fucking is. What am I doing? <laughs> I need to keep an eye on this because at some points like hardly any of them are wearing makeup and then at other points they all are and maybe I'm just getting that wrong. I'm going to just focus on each individual and see if they're having two outfits like how Chris has got like the white suit on in one moment and then the next one he's like more military wise and all in black and then obviously with the different makeup so yeah let's do that. All giving each other their hearts. Cool. Yeah, it's like half of them wear, are wearing makeup and the other half aren't. Which I think is actually quite cool, really. Like, I remember when I first found these guys, the first song I listened to was Abigail, and I remember watching a music video for Abigail, and I thought, uh, you know, it's been done. Like, I was a massive fan of uh, Marilyn Manson, not that we talk about him anymore, and I thought these guys were kind of like a bit of a rip-off, and it was only until I actually gave them a chance I realised how different they are and how amazing they were. I'm not wearing makeup. I still fucking love this band. It makes me feel good that, that the others, half of them in the band aren't wearing it. I feel a little bit more like I can fit in. Saying that, I think I look pretty cool dressed up like trying to work out the whole meaning so they're giving them his, their hearts and he's weighing it up to see if they weigh more than a feather and if they weigh more than a feather is he putting the eye on their head and if they don't they put an O on the head symbolism man get into it so clean this music video Man's getting out of book. You know the dead can't hear you. The holy will is dry. So when you face the truth, open your fucking eyes. Man looks weird there, but oh, look at that. He's getting messy. He dances like how I try and dance. The whitest person ever in the room. That's how. That's how white people dance. Not there though, like, that's cool. That bit. <laughs> Oh, hello. I live in a very white flat. Like, all the walls are white. I should be looking at this thinking this is epic. All I'm thinking is, look at all that red. Where the 
You know what? That was a sick music video. I really enjoyed that. That was really cool. And obviously everyone loves a lot of blood and everyone loves a lot of headbanging. So you can't really go wrong, really, can you? Making him do like these trials to see whether or not the heart is heavier than the, the feather. And like, yeah, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, you're good, you're bad with the I's and the O's and whatever. And then in the end, he killed them all anyway. And it was just like, well, that was fucking pointless. And then maybe at the end where he looks like he's worried and he's like, oh my God, what's happened? Why are they all dead? It's almost kind of like not taking responsibility for it. And you can hide a lot behind religion. That is definitely one of my favorite songs on the album. But saying that all of them are, the whole album is timeless. Like I can listen to it whenever I want and it's still just as if I first listened to it. It's that good. I just felt like I had to quickly go on. I had to do this, react to this. I've got so many requests as well. I'm really like backlogged, so I'm gonna be getting on with that. I've got another guitar video that I wanna do. There's just a lot going on and I'm trying to find the time. I've literally grinded out eight videos in the last week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think if they're going to release any more music. I've heard some rumours that it was going to be in the summer. We're yet to see that. What's your favourite song by them? What's your favourite music video by them? Please like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See you later.